Welcome to our lecture online. Here's an example problem for the JE main test where the question is far more complicated than it needs to be. It's almost like they did it because the answer is actually quite simple and easy to come up with and they wanted to make it perhaps more complicated than it was to try and confuse you. So let's read the question and see what it says. A common transistor radio set requires 12 volt DC for its operation. The DC source is constructed by using a trans transformer and a rectifier circuit, which are operated at, hmm, let's see here, 220 volts AC on standard domestic AC supply. The number of turns of the secondary coil are 24, then the number of turns of the primary are question mark. In essence, what they're telling us to do here is we have a transformer. Now, we didn't, the diagram didn't come with the question. I just put it on there to get a, a quick picture of what's going on. We're using a transformer where we have an input voltage or a primary voltage of 220 volts, an output voltage or secondary voltage of 12 volts. They tell us the number of turns of the secondary, and they're asking for the number of turns of the primary. Any other information given is really not necessary. That's why they're trying to complicate it. And the only principle here they have to know is that the ratio of the voltage of the primary divided by the voltage of the secondary is equal to the number of turns of the primary divided by the number of turns of the secondary. We're looking for this, everything else is given. So the primary is 220 volts, secondary is 12 volts, number of turns of the primary what we're looking for, number of turns on the secondary is 24. Now notice, we can simply multiply both sides by 12, so this becomes 1, this becomes 2, cross multiplying, so the number of turns in the primary is 440. And really that's all there is to it to solve in this problem. The fact that we're converting from an AC circuit to a DC circuit because we're needing 12 volts DC is really not relevant to the step-down function of the transformer, and so that is therefore the solution.